Mr. Dorsey's music world. They're singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's music world. We're living the dream starts here. Hi, and welcome to Mr. Dorsey's music world pre-K music lesson number six. What are we going to do today? Let's find out. We're going to be doing several activities today. We're going to do a pitch exploration to warm up our voice. We're going to do a song from Northern Africa for our movement, a Ram Sam Sam. Our call and response song today is Green Green Rocky. We're going to do a beat motion song and dance to William. He had seven sons. Our movement activity today is keeping the beat. Our song is In the Evening Moonlight. We're going to move it to Anitra's Dance. We're going to create in Singing Park. And our story song today is The Green Grass Grew All Around. Okay, let's follow the line with our voice. Let's try it. Ooh. 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 Our first song today is a Ram Sam Sam. It's a song in the language of Arabic from the country of Morocco, which is in Northwest Africa. Okay, now I'm gonna sing it and you echo it. All right? A Ram Sam Sam. A Ram Sam Sam. Gooly, 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 gooly. Gooly Ram Sam Sam. A Rafi, Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Let's sing it together. One, two, ready and say, a ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam, gooly, 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 gooly. Alright, so when we sing a Ram Sam Sam, we pat our laps. Maybe you can't see it from there, but we're patting on our laps. So watch an echo. A Ram Sam Sam, a Ram Sam Sam. Now for the gooey, gooey, gooey part, we're going to take our hands and do this. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Now let's try it together. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. And then a Rafi. A Rafi, a Rafi. Let's try it together. A Rafi, a Rafi. <laughs> and then back to the gooly, gooly, gooly part, we go back to this. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Now let's try it together. One, two, ready and sing. A ram, sam, sam, a ram, sam, sam. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A rafi, a rafi. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A ram, sam, sam. A ram, sam, sam. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. A rafi, a rafi. Gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. Hey, Mr. Dorsey, what does that mean? Well, that's a great question, whoever just asked that. What does a Ram Sam Sam mean? It's very simple. 
the words are Ram Sam Sam are nonsense words, so they don't mean anything. Gooly 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 means tell me something. And then Arafi is friend. So basically the song means tell me something friend. Cool, huh? All right, let's move on. Green, green, rocky, promenade in green, rocky, tell me who you love, rocky, tell me inside out, rocky, tell me upside down, rocky, all around the town, rocky. Rocky, all around the block, Rocky, green, green, Rocky. So as you saw from the video, we're doing a call and response song. And remember, a call and response song is when you have two people doing something different from each other. So it's an echo song as you repeat the same thing as the first person. A call and response song is you respond or answer with something different. In this case, you're going to sing Rocky, green, green, promenade in green, tell me who you love, tell me inside out, tell me upside down. All around the town, all around the block, green, green. Great job, everybody. Okay, our next song is a beat motion song called William, He Had Seven Sons. So I'm going to teach you how to sing the song first. It's very short. And then I'm going to show you how to play the game so you can have a lot of fun with it. Okay? All right. So here's how the song goes. Listen first. William, he had seven sons, seven sons, seven sons. William, he had seven sons, and this is what they did. Okay. Here we go. Echo after me. William, he had seven sons, seven sons, seven sons. William, he had seven sons, and this is what they did. Okay, now I'm going to sing it and you echo it, okay? William, he had seven sons. Seven sons, seven sons. William, he had seven sons. And this is what they did. Okay, let's try it all together. One, two, ready and sing. William, he had seven sons, seven sons, seven sons. William, he had seven sons, and this is what they did. We can also sing it with William, he had seven daughters. So let's do it once that way. And then you get to pick when you do it on your own. If you want to sing it as sons or daughters, depending on, well, whatever you want, okay? I'm giving you a choice, student choice, four. Here we go. One, two, ready and sing. William, he had seven daughters, seven daughters, seven daughters. William, he had seven daughters, and this is what they did. Now, if you want, you can sing William, he had seven children. That's okay, too. So how you play the game is this. Now, usually... You would do it with a lot of people, but you may not have a lot of people in your house right now, and that's okay. You can 
play this with your family members. You can teach them how to play this game. It's very simple. Or, you know, I'm going to put a video on of me doing it in a moment and you can do the activity with me. So basically what happens is you sing the song and then when the song is over, someone does a beat motion. A beat motion is keeping the beat. So anything that keeps the beat. So it's William, he had seven sons. So that's the beat. So you could do stuff like you could clap. You could pat on your lap. You could tap your head. You could move your feet. I know you can't see my feet, but I'm moving my feet to the beat. Anything that moves to the beat, you can do, and then everybody else who is around you copies what you do, and people take turns. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you a video right now where I do it. So in case you don't have anybody around right now, you can do that with me. So copy what I do, but then when you do it with other friends later on or other family members, you can make up your own beat motions. William, he had seven sons, seven sons, seven sons. William, he had seven sons, and this is what they did. William, he had seven daughters, seven daughters, seven daughters. William, he had seven daughters, and this is what they did. William, he had seven children, seven children, seven children. William, he had seven children, and this is what they did. William, he had seven sons, seven sons, Seven sons, William, he had seven sons, and this is what they did. William, he had seven daughters, seven daughters, seven daughters. William, he had seven daughters, and this is what they did. William, he had seven children, seven children, seven children. William, he had seven children, and this is what they did. When you are playing the Keeping the Beat game, remember that while the music is playing, you can move around however you want. However, when the music stops, you need to keep the beat by clapping your hands.
In the evening moonlight stands Piero tonight, begging for a pencil so that he can write. Echo after me. In the evening moonlight stands Piero tonight, begging for a pencil so that he can write. Now I'm going to teach you the melody. You echo after me. In the evening moonlight stands Piero tonight begging for a pencil so that he can write. Now let's try it together. One, two, ready and sing. In the evening moonlight stands Piero tonight, begging for a pencil so that he can write. Now I'm going to play the chords and you sing it, all right? And I'll sing it with you because this is very new. One, two, ready and sing. In the evening moonlight stands Piero tonight, begging for a pencil so that he can write. singing part it's such a place to see come along and sing along with all your friends and me welcome to singing park where you can only sing 
Watch this video for today's question and examples about how to answer it. What is your favorite animal? A cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. What is your favorite animal? My favorite animal is a cat. What is your favorite animal? I like cats. I have two cats at home and I like to pet them. So as you are trying this at home, if you can only do a one or two word answer right now, that's fine. But try to work up to a full sentence or even longer. Because the better you do it, the smarter you'll get. Now it's your turn to answer what is your favorite animal. I'm going to ask it four times so that you can practice coming up with different answers. You can use the same animal, but try to make your answers different and longer, different ways of saying it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what is your favorite animal? 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 Great job, boys and girls. It's time to move on. Today's story song is The Green Grass Grew All Around. Oh, in the woods, there was a tree, the prettiest little tree that you ever did see. The tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that tree, there was a limb, the prettiest little limb that you ever did see. The limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that limb, there was a branch, the prettiest little branch that you ever did see. The branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that branch, there was a nest. The prettiest little nest that you ever did see. The nest was on the branch and the branch was on the limb and the limb was on the tree and the tree was in the hole and the hole was in the ground and the green grass grew all around, all around and the green grass grew all around. Oh, in that nest there was an egg, the prettiest little egg that you ever did see. The 
egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, a hole was in the ground, and the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. Oh, on that egg, there was a bird, the prettiest little bird that you ever did see. The bird was on the egg, and the egg was in the nest, and the nest was on the branch, and the branch was on the limb, and the limb was on the tree, and the tree was in the hole, and the hole was in the ground. Woo! And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. And the green grass grew all around, all around, and the green grass grew all around. That's it for Mr. Dorsey's Music World today. Remember that living the dream starts here. Take care. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. The singing in history and musical literacy. Mr. Dorsey's Music World. Where living the dream starts here.